So I recently updated the ChatGPT SMS booking bot system, and it now works with SMS, Facebook Messenger, and Instagram, and I patched some of the bugs. But what I've started to notice is where people get stuck with setting this system up. So um, I've been working on basically documentation for setting this system up, and I'm using this software here, and basically it just shows you every single thing you need to set this system up. And so what's also super cool about this is that if you click on Guide Me, it's gonna open up the workflow that I created. And you'll see here for step one of the entire setting up ChatGPT snapshot system, it says this step is located on another web page. So what's crazy is if I click on go there, it's gonna open up my Go High Level sub account. Now, keep in mind, it won't open yours up because it's based on you know my URL. But once you get it loaded, right, you can click on settings and then it just literally walks you through how to set this up. So click on custom values, click on highlight, and basically by the time you're done with all of these workflows, it will walk you through, right, like the entire setup of the system. So this is super cool for all of you that have, you know, got the snapshot from me. This is now going to be inside of the, um, you know, inside of the school course. And basically, I'll close this out. Um, there's 10 like steps here. And this will just go in um, addition to the written instructions, but it has visuals. So this is step one for, you know, the first step of the entire system once you install it is just updating the custom values for the, the AI assistant. And so it just shows you here's how to navigate to the custom values. Here's, you know, how to click on custom values, clicking on the pencil. The cool thing, too, is you can drag, you know, the image around, click on the pencil and then same thing here for the assistant name and then you know update and then literally the next one right this way everyone's on the exact same page and basically you can do all of the steps here pretty much exactly how you know you're supposed to so this is you know workflow one here and this is just updating the custom values and then this is you know what everything looks like once this step is complete right and then step two is purchasing a phone number and as you can see here this step is not required if the sub account already has a functioning phone number attached to it so if you click on phone numbers, click on add number, and then you, you know, buy a phone number and all that, it just shows you how to do that, right? And then you go to step three, and this is creating a test contact, clicking on contacts, you know, adding a test contact. And by the end, you'll have, you know, a test contact loaded into, you know, your Go High Level sub account. So this is a super precise way to set up these different types of systems. And, you know, I've been using this software for quite a while. And I figured, hey, I might as well, you know, incorporate this into the system. That way, you know, if I ever want to make any sort of changes or anything, um, it's really cool because you can just add, you can edit this step here. And if I wanted to, you know, insert a step here, I can either, um, I can do a few things. So if I needed to change this for whatever reason, I could either insert a step or capture the steps. So if I needed to go to, you know, another step in, um, like if I click on this, I can choose from my tabs and then basically start the capture process and it'll just import right above um, you know this step here so this is really cool because you know number one you don't have to watch any videos and then number two everything's written so where i've seen people get stuck with this system is uh pretty much in step two and step three of um the zap and so here without you know rewinding any video slowing it down you can see the proper uh fields to map here everything's you know written out explicitly right here and like i said you can zoom in you can zoom out you can see you know everything right there so this is super cool. So this is an update I wanted to create for all of you guys that are using this. Right now, I've just done this for the SMS part of the system. Um, so if you're looking for the Facebook or Instagram one, I haven't quite completed that yet, um, but this is now there. So inside of the school um, you know, classroom, you're now gonna see links to these workflows. And if I just open up like an incognito window and I paste this workflow here, um, basically you're gonna see you know, this entire workflow. So um, that's how you can access it. And just wanted to share that update with you guys to help with you guys setting this stuff up. And it's really not too difficult when you break it down like this. So just follow the steps you know, in order. Um, and the cool thing too, is if you're ever stuck right in a step, let's say you're stuck you know, right here, um, you can technically just you know, uh, screenshot right, this exact step. And you know, me and anyone in the community will also know hey, this person is stuck, right? Like in step two of the entire, of all the workflows and then step three within that workflow. And then, you know, it's a lot easier to troubleshoot versus like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know where, you know, where I'm stuck. So I wanted to provide that update to everyone. Um, if you want to grab the snapshot, some people 
don't know how they can buy it, it's uh, linked below. You can purchase it. You can purchase an all-in-one, which has SMS, Facebook, and Instagram. And then you can also purchase them individually as well. And if you later want to add, let's say you purchase the SMS one, and then you later want to add the Facebook one, um, you can buy those individually and merge them into one snapshot. And you know they work perfectly together. So this is now in the school group for everyone that purchased. And you know just want to give you guys some ideas of how to systemize things and you know use softwares like this. I'll be continuing to make more guided tutorials using this because um, I think it really helps people. So let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.